In the Florida Keys, your boat is as important as your car. There is only so much land, and most of the desired activities take place on the water. The car comparison has an exception, though. Your boat is exposed to damaging seawater and sun on a regular basis. Boat maintenance is critical, and the protective coating is the most overlooked. In this episode, I show you how I protect my boat from salt water and sun. Woo! All right, welcome back to Florida Keys Life. Now, so I just hauled the boat out just 20 minutes ago. And um, about two months ago, I applied uh, this Aurora VS721 bottom coat wax. It has a biocide agent in it. I learned about this at a boat show, a Miami boat show, actually, two years ago. Um, anyhow, I put that below the water line. So from everything here down which i'll show you a little closer is got two coats of this and this has very specific instructions so i actually hauled the boat out at a boat yard put it on boat stands because it's a little tricky on a trailer so we can rotate the stands and i got a good coverage on my brand new boat which we'll talk about that in a bit but that's on the bottom then on the top sides so everything from the water line up which there will be some standing that i can show you i've got the glide coat marine ceramic very specific steps on that and uh, I've got a video of me finishing the application on the top sides here. We'll post that in here. But this protection of the boat makes it easier to clean when you come back from fishing or whatever. Especially now, I've been sitting in the water for, uh, shoot, about two weeks. Maybe even three weeks. Uh, in the Florida Keys, very, there's a lot of marine growth in my canal. I'm, my canal is all, all the way in, the furthest from the entrance, so I don't get a lot of float, water flow in the canal. We don't get any weeds and stuff, so it stays really clean that way, but we get a lot of growth. And so it's been sitting. I took the boat out. Today is Wednesday. I took the boat out Friday. No, we did a brief run on Saturday morning, so I guess Saturday to now, but it's been in the water, sitting in the canal for over two weeks. So I want to show you here what we got so you can see all this growth here now this is this has got the ceramic coating on it so i'm going to show you how easy it does how easy it cleans off uh, there but then you can also see there's some growth here that's under i did the uh, aurora up to that line and you can see i did a test spot here just to make sure i wasn't a clown for you guys for the video and then you see all this right at the water line all the way around and then there's some some other spots some staining the classic rub rail staining you're going to see how easy that comes right off uh, with this whole process yes my trailer's about on its last legs you're going to see most of this is going to hose right off there's another spot right there most of this is going to hose right off uh, but i'm going to use this brush just on the water line and you'll see how easy it's going to be to clean that off stand by Okay, so here we go. I'm 20, maybe 30 minutes in. So before this dries, you can see I got a pretty good scum line going right on the water line. And I think I've got a little electric pressure washer. I, yeah, see it's even coming off a little bit just straight with the hose. But I'm just gonna take this soft bristled boat brush here and just walk it right up the scum line. Now I can tell you from experience that if I, this was just bare gel coat with nothing on it, this would be much more difficult. I'd probably have to use some, some even some sort of chemical or cleaning product to get that. Now, as we look up under here, that's mainly just stuff from the trailer and the road. There's not even really anything that's up under there. Well, let's hit this one spot here. So you see this spot. So this is with the glide coat ceramic. Yeah, this is with the Aurora, and then from here up is Glide Coat. So we're gonna hit this spot right here. Boy, look at that. Normally you'd have to get some black streak remover chemical to get that off. Look at that, no need for putting bottom paint on. You can save the Save the value of your boat by keeping it nice, clean, clear gel coat with this wax. Now they say 
it's actually made in Canada. You see the water beating up there on the hull sides. I'm gonna wash it down to get the salt off of it really good here, but see that water beating? That's that's the the uh, okay. Now this the outboards. Look at the lower units here. We're gonna get those two. Let's raise them back up. And keep them wet. So I've got these whole outboards were completely ceramic coated with two coats of ceramic. So we'll see. Okay, so here we go. Well, let's get the other side there. That's got quite a bit. You see, look at all that growth right there. Wiped right off. I'm not scrubbing hard, just going back and forth a few times. And transom test so we have um, glide coat right here Aurora right here the glide coat let it come right off hey guys welcome back to the channel so today I want to talk about ceramic coating so um, I decided when I got my new boat that I didn't want to have to wax it every three to six months my previous boat uh, I put wax on the top sides it was a good quality wax Three, four months later, it's pretty well done. So I decided I didn't want to have to do that on a regular basis. I wanted to find something that's as easy to maintain as possible. In other words, I just want to hold stuff down and be done. I'm fishing. Come back from fishing. Uh, so I looked into it and I found ceramic coating seems to be the answer. I looked into Polyglow, for example, and Polyglow has some downsides and I have some, you know, some folks that had some negative experience with Polyglow, so I didn't do that. Ceramic seems to be the way to go. There's a million different ceramics. I watched tons of YouTube videos. That's where I learned most of my stuff here, right? Uh, and so I came across Glide Coat. Um, let's see the name there. And the thing that I liked about Glide Coat was their videos actually aren't that great. They're really short. They don't explain a lot of the how tos. They have some. They do explain how to, but they don't do in depth how tos. Kind of like what I'm going to do here. Um, but what they do do is, is most of these uh, ceramic manufacturers I've found cater really only to professional detailers that go through their course to install this stuff. They're really specific about their process, protective, not wanting to have people do it themselves. Flightcoat, on the other hand, sells uh, stuff directly to the public, and they sell a uh, new boat kit. So since I had a new boat, that's what I bought for, it's supposed to do up to 30 feet. We didn't quite have enough uh, ceramic, which we'll talk about here in a second. Uh, but they, uh, they they cater to that, and they answer the phone when you have a question. Uh, the guy that you'll see on the YouTube video, his name is Christian uh, Westdorf, I think. Yeah, I might have the name wrong. Anyways, Christian is in most of the videos. He's the guy that usually would answer when you ask for a technical question. He's the guy that gets on and tells you what's going on. So they had a few questions here and there. But really the, the main thing here is that this stuff is not rocket science, okay? It's not too much more difficult than applying any sort of wax. Um, and it's not that difficult. I'm gonna kind of show you the process here a little bit. The other thing that I liked about them is it's made right in Stewart, Florida. Or at least that's what the headquarters is. So it's a local US product. U.S. company, answer the phone, all that good stuff. There's lots of manufacturers out there. I can't speak specifically about whether they're good or not. I don't have longevity on this, but I do have, and I'll show you, I'll put a clip in the video before I finished the deal, how you can see how this has got some extreme hydrophobic or water repelling. And every piece of dirt I've got on this, on the parts that I've done, I've done the whole sides and from here back. It's all ceramic coated, the glide coat. I just want to show you how it beads water. I hope you can see that. I'm not sure about the video, but the water's just not having anything to do with it. Then you come over here. I haven't done this section yet. You see the water just sheets. You can't even see it. I know it because I can't see it in person. So, But over here... Okay, and you can look down at the hull here and see 
where the water goes on there, it just beads right up. Uh, it just kicks it right off. Now, it's important to understand that I broke this up into three parts, so this video is kind of broken up. I did the hull sides uh, above the water line in the boat yard because I was doing a bottom coat on the wax, uh, a wax bottom coat on the bottom, a product made by Aurora Marine. Um, which I guess we'll talk about that later. And so I did the hull sides in a boat yard where it was on some boat stands. I was able to get on a ladder. It's really easy. Uh, and then I did the transom as the third part. Now I'm doing the top sides. So let's talk a little bit about the process. So they, they do say right on the beginning, you see right here, it says, you must follow all steps. And that is legit. I've looked at all their steps. I've read through all their stuff. Again, it's not rocket science. You just have to do it. The main thing is, is you have to prep gel coat or whatever you're covering really well uh, you've got to buff it to a complete shine depends on how picky you are now I'm not a super this isn't a showboat I'm not going to be out there trying to get this judge degraded I want it to not oxidize to, to look new and to uh, be easy to clean that's what I'm mainly looking for so when I went over and did all the prep I buffed this entire boat with their with their nano polish really good stuff it's got a nice smell to it for one but it, it cleans like little spots where i had like some staining from maybe a rub rail drip or or a screw head or something like that this would take it right off even by hand some of some of the areas i couldn't get my polisher into i had to do some areas by hand really good stuff uh so you go over it first you got to wash it obviously wash it really good i didn't record any of this because who wants to record washing a plug right everybody knows how to do that there are lots of detailed videos out there that I watch, though, about all of those other steps to make sure I was doing it right. Um, and so anyways, you wash it really good. Get everything you can off of it. Then uh, you wax it. Uh, I had I went through a hand buffer just from Home Depot. Uh, you know, all these guys got these expensive buffers, random orbital buffers and things like that. I, I just got a standard Home Depot palm, five or six inch palm sander with the buffer pads and went over the entire boat. Every, he was non-skid non side, size of the hull, and you'd be surprised, new boat. Uh, I, I've only got like 12 or 15 hours on the boat. There were some spots. And so even after I washed it, like going over the boat uh, with the buffer and the compound, uh, improved things substantially. Then you have to strip the wax off because the wax, the ceramic will protect, will bond to whatever's the outer coat. And so it would bond to the wax. And so the ceramic would would then come off when the wax comes off which isn't as strong as a bond of a bond as the ceramic so you gotta strip it off this is their alcohol stripper uh, i ran out of this material refilled it with rubbing alcohol it does the same stuff okay uh, and this and going back to this you could use any any light cleaner wax as well it's nice that it comes in the kit this whole kit is like 350 bucks it comes with the applicator pads which this is actually a key we'll talk about in a second um, it comes obviously with the ceramic, the polish, the wipe down, and some gloves to go with it, and some more instructions. So it's, I, I like the kit. It comes in this nice box. Really nice. Uh, so then you wipe it down. You can wipe all the wax off. And you see if you didn't get use enough alcohol material, you'll see some streaks of, of alcohol thinned out wax. With a little bit of hazel. got to get it shined try to get as many swirl marks and stuff out of it as you can uh, and I did I do have the 3m medium cut compound I have the light medium and the heavy there were a few spots where I brought in the medium compound just that that, the, that this nano polish wouldn't take off this is really light uh, polish it doesn't have very much grit in it at all so there were a few spots that I used to, to get things right I'm far from a perfectionist but if it's an easy spot to fix, I'll fix it. Um, and so then you, you gotta strip it. You gotta strip all that wax on, get down to the bare gel coat, and now you put the ceramic on, which is what we're gonna do, and I'll actually film some of that process. This is a white gel coat boat. It's a sunny day here. You won't be able to see hardly any of it, so I'm not gonna record and show the whole thing. I'm just gonna talk about the process, show you the product. Now, this is supposed to do up to a 30-foot boat, this boat, um, we'll walk through it here in a second. Um, it's not, it's 28 feet, um, but it's got tall, 
pulse sights and a tall gunnel. And I used every bit of this product to do two coats on the hull sights and one coat on the transom. Uh, so then I ordered another 120 milliliters of the product, which was another 150 bucks or so. I got about 500 bucks into the product, which I was told by the dealer I bought this boat from that it would cost about five grand to do a ceramic uh, coating on this boat. So I'm going to finish. I'm going to do two coats on this top sides. Hopefully 120 milliliters is going to be enough. Uh, and I'll take you along to do that. So stand by. Okay, so I'm going to try to show a zoomed in area of this inside of the seating area in the front. I think with the glare and such that you might be able to see the application of the product. Then I'll just show a zoomed out version of me going over it and run it probably in a time lapse so you can see it. So um, here's the product. They show lots of different ways. They show a pouring it on like that, which I did that for the first little bit. I talked to them and that might be how I went through more product than maybe what their designs were. So uh, they recommended just trying to tip it. So that's what I'm going to do here. So you just take the thing, tip it up. So see, I've got a little spot on the sponge here. So this flat area right here, we're gonna go up. I'll just run it. The stuff is so hydrophobic, it like starts repelling itself and you'll see drops of it at some point. We're gonna go over it substantially here. You can see I've got a lot on there. I'm gonna do this small little area here too. Yeah, I see it's starting to make drops. In there. Okay. I'll set that aside and we'll go back. They actually send you these nice rags. Those were also in the kit. Um, so this is a nice clean rag. They recommend you use a brand new unused rags. I'm out of the brand new unused ones. So I'm using their rag that's been washed. Was only used in taking the ceramic off on the hull sides and or the transom. So should be fine. We'll see you right here. Hopefully you can see there's some dripping of the product in there as it kind of makes itself become hydrophobic. You just gotta take it off to where there's no more streaking or swirls on it. does add an extra layer of shine you can see so this seam right here between where I got it right there and right there let me see if we can see that at all yeah you probably can't but it's it's right there I can see a marked difference between the gloss right there is the gloss right there and that's been buffed with the nano polish but this adds an extra layer of shine to it okay so I'm gonna go through and uh, just put you in an overview and run it and do this whole process
Okay, and that's the bow of the boat. So, do the floor, continue the whole boat. It's probably, each coat's probably gonna take me about, and that was about 15 minutes to do the bow area with one coat, so each coat's probably gonna take 45 minutes uh, on the top side. So I'm gonna go down and we'll do all the inside of the gunnels, all the cabin center console, the floors, and yeah, it'll probably take me closer to an hour. All of this stuff, especially the fish boxes. You saw me do those front boxes up there, and especially these fish boxes will do to keep the blood up. But all of these surfaces up underneath the rod holders, all along the gunnels. We get everything we can all along this console side here. Yeah, it'll probably take me another 45 minutes or so to get that. It's more of the same. One of the things I forgot to explain too is that it's critical that when you, in your application sponge, that you apply the product like that and then you go over it again at least two different ways because you want to spread this product into all the little pores of the gel coat as much as you can so that it's in there. For this next drift, we're out watching that rod. So I'm going to show you this stuff from the squid and the bait and stuff all over these gunnels. The glide coat, ceramic. Let me show you here. You can tell it ain't sticking, it's just on the surface. So you just take a little water. Come on, see how the water beads? So easy to keep it clean, worth all the extra work.